You know, I've done 7,000 videos, well, nearly 7,000 videos now on EV technology, electric cars, batteries, solar and wind. And yet the very few of the videos I've done have been about India. It just doesn't seem like all that much has been happening when it comes to technological innovation in India. But actually, that's not really correct because scientists in India have found a cheaper and safer option with sodium ion batteries that appear to be better than to be honest, better the best sodium ion batteries in the world, potentially. That's not something you can say every day, especially considering the fact I think I've done more than 50 videos about sodium ion batteries. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. The world is moving fast, and sodium ion batteries, apparently, according to some experts, are going to usurp lithium. Current lithium-ion batteries are, well, I wouldn't say they're expensive, but they are technically more expensive than sodium-ion because sodium is cheaper than lithium. Scientists in India say that they have found a cheaper and safer, better version of sodium-ion batteries that they believe will be commercialized. A research team at Jawaharlal, Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research, which is JNCASR, an institute under India's state-run Department of Science and Technology, have developed a new kind of sodium ion battery that the world has never seen before. The battery can charge to 80% in six minutes, and it lasts for more than 3,000 charge cycles. That's much longer, a much longer lasting battery than existing sodium ion battery technology, and as you can see, it can charge much faster. In other words, it's winning in every way in comparison to even CATL. I mean, CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, they are making enormous profits. We're looking at billions and billions of dollars. And it appears as though this uh, small Indian research lab has developed even better sodium ion batteries than CATL. The team is led by Professor Prem Kumar and his PhD student, Biplab Patra, they created a special anode for material for the battery, and it is um, apparently meant to improve the battery's performance in three incredibly significant ways. Firstly, what they did was they made the particles very small at the nano scale. Second, they wrapped each particle with a thin layer of carbon. And third, they added a small amount of aluminium to the material. These steps helped the battery charge much faster and even work more safely and efficiently over time. Unlike lithium, sodium is cheap, but of course, to do all this wrapping and the other innovations in this battery, you would think it would increase the price a little bit. So I'm not sure on that. But one advantage with sodium batteries is they are less likely to catch fire than lithium, and apparently they have less battery degradation, according to many experts. Scientists use advanced methods like electrochemical cycling and computer simulations to test whether or not these batteries are actually good, how long they last for, what the performance was. So this battery discovery in India could revolutionize battery manufacturing in India, which is fairly nascent, it's new, hasn't really taken off. To give you some context, there's massive interest in sodium ion batteries all around the world. I just reported on a solid state battery being developed by other researchers, which is apparently has the potential for 10 times the energy density of today's existing sodium ion batteries, which is remarkable. Now, those researchers are based in Germany. Globally, there's a number of companies currently producing sodium ion batteries. The biggest of those is CATL, with their company called Naxtra. They have sodium ion batteries being built, put into cars, into particularly into plug-in hybrids, used as a hybrid battery with a combination of lithium and sodium cells, and they're already going to cars now. Plus, they have sodium ion batteries that can power EVs for up to 500 kilometers. A company in Japan has built a sodium-based power bank that can last for 5,000 charging cycles. And in fact, now in many countries around the world, you can buy your own home batteries that use sodium. And they're a bit cheaper than lithium. With your EV, you use a 12-volt battery in your EV. And in fact, in, 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 even in internal combustion cars, you need a 12-volt battery. If you want to, you can buy one of those online. It's cheaper than lithium and has most of the benefits, in fact, potentially even more. Sodium ion batteries, though, do have one drawback. 
lower energy density, which means they can store less energy based on their size and weight, basically. But energy density in sodium ion batteries is improving, and they are cheaper, safer, and will work well in hot climates all around the world. Plus, they're less likely to catch fire, which is probably ideal when it gets really, really hot in some of these sunny, arid countries. Now, as more funding pours into battery technology, particularly into sodium ion battery technology, we're going to see sodium ion batteries rapidly improve. And I'm really excited to see what's happening because I think it's going to transform the world in ways we can't even imagine yet. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye. CATL, the biggest battery company in the world, they just announced the most game-changing batteries in history. If you watch all of this video and you don't agree with me, then honestly, I would be absolutely shocked. I would be mind blown if you think that what I just said is in any way an exaggeration. There is five reasons why these batteries are game-changing and some of them are just so insane that I'm sitting here thinking to myself, we're looking at a, a a point in history which I don't think anyone predicted. I don't think anyone predicted these sodium ion batteries would be this good. I don't think anyone predicted they'd be capable of over 4 million kilometers. In fact, 4.8 million kilometers. And in every other way, they are class leading. If you haven't already seen my video on CATL's incredible new Shenzhen Plus battery, the new version, it, it'll blow your mind. It can charge in literally five minutes, 530 kilometers of range in five minutes. That's amazing. However, really, it might not move the needle that much because this is more for premium cars. This, though, is a different story. A sodium battery with energy density that you actually is going to make an NEV actually work. This is a game changer. And, and in fact, I think this is probably the biggest battery news we've heard, we've seen in the industry for at least, at least 12 months. Sodium ion batteries have one very big problem. They are very low in energy density, or at least they used to be. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. So sodium ion batteries, they're awesome because you don't need any lithium. They're cheaper to manufacture. A few years back, I did a video saying that CATL said they could reduce the cost of batteries by 30% of lithium-ion phosphate batteries by using sodium batteries instead. 